concept of cross product. Find area of triangle with vertices A, B and C where A is 110, B is 302 and C is 0, minus 1 and 1. Now as you know geometrically area of cross product I mean geometrically cross product gives you area of a parallelogram. Now a parallelogram is kind of two triangles right. So, so if I have a parallelogram let me just draw a parallelogram first then we can divide it into two triangles right. So when we are talking about a triangle then the area of triangle will be half the area of parallelogram right. So let me just write down these points which are let's say A, B, C. They are not the real drawing but just showing you. So the area of triangle ABC will be half the area of triangle, half the area of parallelogram, correct? D, right? That That is what is the, is the principle. So area of triangle is equals to half area of parallelogram. That's what it is. And what is area of parallelogram? Area of parallelogram will be cross product of two sides, correct? So what we will do here is, we'll find the two sides, which is AB and AC. So once we have two sides, let's say AB and AC, then we can do cross product of AB and AC, and half of that and its magnitude will give us the area, correct? Now what is AB? A to B will be 3 minus 1 which is 2, 0 minus 1 which is minus 1 and 2 minus 0 is 2. A to C will be 0 minus 1 which is minus 1, minus 1 minus 1 gives me minus 2 and 1 minus 0 will be 1, right? So we get AB and AC. Now what is cross product of AB and AC? Cross product of this is 2 minus 1, 2 cross minus 1 minus 2, 1, right? Now to find cross product, we can write these numbers in row starting with the middle number, right? So the middle number here is minus 1, so minus 1, 2, and end with the middle number and now here again is minus 2 1 minus 1 and with minus 2 now when we multiply we have to add these right we have to multiply these and the components taken away are these correct so we can write down our cross product here as the i component here is minus 1 minus of 4 which is plus because minus right plus j times these are unit vectors minus 2 minus 2 plus k times 2 times 2 is 4 with minus sign and minus of 1 so that becomes the component it's a good practice to always check it right so when you do this minus 1 and take away it becomes plus minus sign first and then minus of 2 that's correct minus 4 and then this is plus minus 1 that's correct so we get this as equal to i is 3 so let me write 3i and j component is minus 4 minus 4j and k component is minus 5 so minus 5k right so these are our components right now what is the magnitude of AB so actually the area of triangle will be area of triangle is half of product of these two scalar I mean the magnitude of the cross product so which is magnitude of this right so magnitude of 3i minus 4j minus 5k so that is your area. So this is equals to half times. So the magnitude is square root of 3 square. Let me write 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square, right? Strictly speaking, I should write minus within brackets. 
I know it becomes positive, but still, that's the way it is, right? Which is equal to half of square root of 9 plus 16 plus 25. So that is the area, and so it is half of, we can add 9 plus 16, 25, 25 is 50. Which could be written as half of 50 can be written as 25 times 2. So that is half of 5 times square root 2, correct? So you could write 5 over 2 square root 2 as the area in square units. So that becomes the answer for this particular question. So and I hope you understand the method. The method is area of triangle is half the area of parallelogram and area of parallelogram is magnitude of cross product of the two sides of parallelogram. So that is in short the way to do it. Thank you.